So? Peter Gunn. Crazy. Hiya, Fluky. Wow. Where's Wilbur? Like where else? Man, you're getting taller. Clean living. Wow. Oh. Ragged little child Standing on the outside With your nose pressed up against the window Crying cause you ain't never had a Jelly donut But don't you care, you'll grow up And drive a shiny red sports car No, I can't, no, Join a country club band if you're real good Well, now, I don't know Die because I'm... Mud hole. Hey, it's a profound guess, Mr. Gunn. You ain't so special, ragged little Meet Capri. Ain't you heard? Each of us Capri. is on the outside. Hey, man. Sit down. Thanks, Wilbur. Yeah. There ain't no jelly donut on the other side of that window. Only death. And dig all those rap faces. Makes you wonder whatever happened to the good old iambic pentameter. Oh, man, like that's strictly for squares. I mean, like today's poets are free from all those rigid rules and restrictions. Like, man, they don't even know what he's saying, but, you know, like they make the scene. Now, now, you take art. You dig? Crazy. Yeah. I mean, I just finished it. I mean, there is something you can swing with. Self-portrait? What else, man? Good likeness. Yeah. Do you ever paint anything but yourself? I mean, no. Uh, like, why should I? I'm so infinitely complex. Let me get you a blast, Harry. Hey, no thanks, Wilbur. Cool it, man. Cool it. Look, do you know a Mrs. Laura Hope Stanfield? Mrs. S.? Yeah, mm. like she's the shining example of the plastic surgeon's art. Yeah, man, like she has had her face lifted so many times that when her neck itches, she scratches her nose. Was she in tonight? Yeah, yeah, she was. Alone? Yeah, like she was for a change. She was in to dig our champagne and Shirley Blaze. Shirley Blaze? Oh, man, you ain't been by for a while. You should fall in. Shirley Blaze is our new intellectual ecdysiast. Like keep on explaining. Ecdysiast, like to take off, like to peel, like to shed one's outer garments. Stripper. Wow. I mean, like, man, she makes it to a jazz quintet backed up by my rendition of T.S. Eliot's Wasteland. Big seller here, man, big. What did Mrs. S. want to see Shirley about? Well, man, like, like, I don't know for sure, but I could take a wild swing and guess. Guess? Shirley's got herself a new cat, and uh, this particular cat used to belong to Mrs. S. Who is he? Oh, now, man, like, I don't know his name. You know, he's only been in, like, a few times. But he's a tall cat, dark hair. Shirley around? No, no, man, it's a night off. Then Mrs. S. didn't talk to her. Not unless she knew where to find her. If she did, uh, where would that be? Oh, no, man, like, if he was looking real hard, you might try to find her at home. But, like, I should warn you, Pete, with this chick... Home ain't exactly where the heart is. You dig? I'm hip. 4677 South Beacon Street, Apartment C. I can cool. Yeah. See you around. Like parting is such sweet swinging sorrow.